guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a ColourPop haul. They recently had their 20% off uh, on the whole website. I decided to pick up a few things and I'm here to show you what I got. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So I had to place two different orders because the first time that I was doing the first order, um, I really wanted to try the Ultra Blotted Lip and they were all sold out. And I didn't know that they were going to have a restock the following day. I placed my first order on a Thursday and they were going to have their restock on that Friday. So I didn't know that that was going to happen. So I placed my first order on Thursday and then on Friday that I checked the website again. They had their 20% off still and they had restocked the ultra blotted lip. Okay, so right now I'm on the Colors, uh, ColourPop website and I'm just going to read to you what the... Uh, formula and how they describe the ultra blotted lip. So it says that the ultra blotted lip, it, it's a medium coverage matte lipstick that creates a soft diffused look. It is completely transfer, transfer proof and long wearing but also lightweight and comfortable. No cracking or flaking. Lips, uh, leaves lips smooth and fresh. Um, the finish is a sheer matte and there's a different shape that they have currently in stock. Okay, so for the swatches, I'm first going to swatch Zuma, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I'm not going to do lip swatches because I'm not used to doing lip swatches. So I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. And like I said, it's, it comes like when you put it on, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really sheer. And then when it, when it uh, completely dries, it gives you a really natural color. It's not drying. So right now it's drying. And like I said, it's a really nice neutral color it has a little bit of a like peachy um, undertone to it but it's just a really nice like everyday color so like I said that is called Zuma then next one I have here it's called Doozy D-O-O-Z-Y and this is a more pinky um, color and this one I haven't tried um, but yeah like I said when you first put it on it's really really sheer and then as it starts to dry I mean on camera they look like exactly the same but yeah, as it starts to dry, it's going to give you a little bit more of color payoff. And yeah, so this second one is called Doozy. The third one I have here, it's called Sliced. Slice? It's called Slide. And this is definitely a more pink color. Right here, this is called Slide. And then the next one I have here, it's called Double Scoop. And this is definitely a more coral um, color. And I really like it. I don't know, it's more, it gives me like summer vibes right there. That is double slide or double scoop, sorry. Next, I have out of the beach or out of beach. And this is definitely a coral. So right there, this is called out of beach and definitely, definitely a more coral color. The next one is called Beetle Sunny. And this is definitely a red color. I really like this one for the summer, uh, for like the 4th of July. And it's so sheer, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna, when it dries down, it's gonna be so, so pretty. So this one right here, it's called um, Bit of Sunny. And then the next one, it's the second to last, this is called Cherry on Top. This is more, uh, definitely a more uh, cherry color, like black cherry color. And I'm just gonna swatch it on the side. Instead of going like down my arm. And yeah, this is definitely a more black cherry color, which is so pretty right there. And the last one I have here, it's called Split, uh, which is, uh, this is still in that like burgundy color, but definitely has a little bit more pink in it than black, uh, than I think, yeah, cherry on top. So I'm going to just put it right next to it. This one definitely has uh, pink undertones. I'm so excited. So this right here is cherry on top and then this one right here is called Split. Those were the ultra blotted lips so let's just move on and see what else I ordered. Whenever you place a Colourpop order you do get those like postcards. Um, this, one's, um, this one says mom spelled upside down as well. XOXO Colourpop. Okay, so apart from the ultra blotted lips, I wanted to pick up some of the ultra satin lips because I haven't tried those. Um, and those are still in the packaging. I did get this, my second, my first order, I got it today. And then the first order, the second order, which was the ultra blotted lips, I got it two days ago. So 
We're gonna go ahead and get started with the um, Ultra uh, Satin Lips. And the first one I have here, it's called Echo Park, which is a really nice pinky neutral color. So this one right here, it's called Echo Park, right there. This one is called Chandelier, 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 so fancy, so fancy. Um, oh, this is so pretty. I mean, all of them are going to be pretty, of course. So this is um, more pink than Echo Park. It's that one right there. I'm not, I'm not a like pinky wearing lipstick girl. I'm more of a more like neutral with a little bit of more of a peachy undertone on the, um, like for the lipsticks. I don't know why I don't like more pinky colors, but I'm pretty sure like somebody's gonna love this color. So I'm just gonna put it inside the package because I know I'm not gonna wear it, unfortunately. So the next one I have here, it's called Freaking Frack. And this is more like a brownie nude, uh, brownie nude. And it definitely has a pink undertone, but it's more on the brownie side. Oh, this is so pretty. Like I said, these are my type of colors. So it's this one right here. And it's more on the brownie side, which I'm excited. This is called London Fog, and it's definitely a more um, brighter pink, kind of. See, I don't know how to describe colors. I just prefer to like show them to you because I'm not good describing things. So it's this one right there. So yeah, this is definitely a more brown color, which I have a couple of them, and I really like how they look on me, but... It just has to have like the right undertone for them to like, for you to pull it off, you know? Um, I'm gonna try to find like a space to swatch it. Well, that's definitely like brown. Uh, so it's that one right there, ah, right there. It's pretty, I mean, I don't know how many times I'll wear this. The next one I have here, can't get it out of the packaging. Okay. The next one here is called Lion King. I saw this color and I really, really liked it. So, let's see. I'm just going to go down my arm. I mean, there's no other space where I can show you. Oh, this is definitely a neat color. It's this one right here. Okay, so I ordered two more or three more lipstick or kind of like for your lips. So, the I ordered this one. It's the Alexis, Alexis Ren um, by ColourPop. And this is an ultra satin lip. This is in color Bare Necessity, Necessities, which I looked on the website. First of all, the packaging, it is so cute. Like, seriously, it's so pretty. Like, so, let's see. Oh, this is so pretty. So this is definitely my kind of color because this, is, this has a peach undertone, which uh, I love. So it's this one right here. And it's called Bare Necessities. And this is um, from the... Uh, Alexis Ren um, by Colourpop and then next I have a blotted lip which is which this is like a lipstick kind of like a more sheer, even more sheer coverage um, and I picked it up in the color Sucker which obviously it's a nude with a peach undertone because what else am I going to order and this definitely feels like a lip balm and it is so sheer you can see it right there so I'm excited to try that and then the last like lip product that I order is a ultra matte lip and this is in the color uh, Bumble which I already own if this is a backup because this is by far one of my favorite liquid lipsticks colors from Colourpop and it was 20% off so I'm like why not just get a backup right and I have two uh, last products right here one of them is a super shock cheek and I've been wanting to order one of the uh, like kind of holographic products that they came out with um, but I wasn't sure which color so I picked up the color monster you can't even see it on camera but it is a uh, pink it, it is a white highlight but it has a pink like shimmer in it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it it's right here you can barely even see it but it's a highlight but it has a holographic color to it. I really wanted to try their gel liners because when they first came out with their gel liners I ordered two of them and I ordered the green one and I think the white one and when I got them they were really really dry and i not able to use them because they're so dry. This one is a gel liner and it is in the color 
teaspoon, which is a really, really nice green, which I'm so excited for. Um, because I have in mind like this like really bright green eye I look that I want to do and I really wanted to pick this one up for that tutorial so let me see I wanted to remember oh that's so pretty um that green definitely reminds me of um the oh, I forgot the name of it um the Wicked Witch from the from Once Upon a Time definitely reminds me of her so I'm like stabbing myself <laughs> with the liner. Oh, it's that one right there, which I'm so excited for. That looks so pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on the little button down there. And if you have any requests, please leave them down below. I am so excited to be here. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.